Hi Youtubers, it's I'm next editor of the Brown House, I'm the videos, we enter Rainbow right now, so today is February 18th, yeah, February 18th, 2018, pretty cool, nice big ass ramble for life, I know Fred likes these rambles, so basically what I'm going to talk about right now, uh, gambling, so I do gamble on occasion, I'm somebody who mainly buys uh, scratch tickets in Massachusetts, so I live in Massachusetts, or Massachusetts, and I buy uh, scratch tickets. Now, what I want to talk about right now is how some people have a gambling problem. I should probably say this for Medical Thursday because they usually talk about addictions on Medical Thursday, big ass CR of life. So, basically, what would I consider to be moderate versus mild versus uh, severe gambling addiction, or any kind of addiction at all when it comes to gambling? So myself personally, I've been buying scratch tickets since I turned 18. Because in Massachusetts, you have to be 18 years old, 18 years old to buy scratch tickets. And I probably spend per week as a 26-year-old adult, or going on 27, it'll be 27 this April, big ass year of life. I probably spend on average between three and five dollars a week. So maybe two, four, five, three dollars a week on uh, scratch tickets, which are scratch off um, tickets, not quick picks, not mega millions, that kind of stuff, big ass cigar of life. Now, some people would say that is too much, but generally I think anything under five dollars is really perfectly fine. I mean, you can disagree with me if you're somebody who had a gambling problem, no offense, you know, and if you had a gambling problem, you knew somebody, knew a loved one who had a gambling problem, then obviously, it's different because you grew up in a different type of environment. You, know, you grew up with like a father who had like a gambling problem or something like that, but that's different. So for your average Joe Smo who doesn't have any kind of like gambling problem, I think two, three, four, five dollars a week for an over 18 year old adult is pretty fine because in Massachusetts he has to be 18 years old. So it's like I think three or four dollars a week is perfectly acceptable because it's the same thing as like a knitting hobby or like a stamp collecting hobby. People spend like five, ten dollars, you know, a week on it. So where it gets dicey, and this is where I'll tell you right now, big ass cigar of life, is when people, you see those senior citizens at like um, convenience stores, like uh, 7-Eleven, that kind of stuff, mini marts, and they're spending 50, 100, 200 dollars, even 30 dollars a week on scratch tickets or scratch off cards, and that's really excessive, especially those people who are on low disability income, uh, welfare, SSI, that kind of stuff, SSDI, whatever you want to call it in your state big ass cigar of life, those people are spending way too much and should not be spending in the first place, especially low income people, no offense not trying to be part of this or be a bigot, so it's like those people should not be gambling in the first place or they should be gambling very small amounts and that's where it becomes a problem, those people almost have like a gambling problem, so even spending $20 a week I think is quite high, so maybe not a problem, maybe you buy like one $20 ticket, that's fine, but if you're spending on a regular basis $30, $50, $100, anything above $30 or so is just considered excessive. I know somebody at Roche Brothers in Massachusetts who spends like $50 a week, so I know people who spend you know, $40, $50 a week or spend their entire paycheck. And when it gets into the point where, you, when it gets to the point where you're spending your paycheck, your money is supposed to be spent on groceries or tobacco, nice big ass cigars for life, or you know, your rent, that kind of stuff, or your mortgage, or for instance, you know, your your kids' food, your kids' health care, that kind of stuff, then it becomes an actual gambling <clears throat> problem. So, and that's where it's considered a gambling addiction. So, and you're a gambling addict. When it comes to things like spending two, three, even ten dollars a week, as long as you have the money, as long as you're not taking out money from savings, as long as you're over 18, because gambling is an adult enjoyment, so like smoking, smoking a big ass cigars for life, same thing as, same thing as, you know, you know, buying, um, you know, tobacco, alcohol, you know, the occasional dirty magazine, that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's an adult enjoyment. So those things like smoking and alcohol and gambling are adult enjoyment. So they're not meant for people under 18 or under 21. So you get the point, big ass year of life. It's kind of like, you know, it's like, yes, for over 18 year old adult spending two or three dollars a week on scratch tickets or scratch off cards is perfectly acceptable and fine as long as they have the money big ass year of life. So, okay, I'll stop saying it. it's a little bit annoying. So, and that's my view on that. I know if I like these rambles, so is I don't think I have by any stretch of the imagination a gambling problem because 
you know, under $5 a week, $5 at the most a week, that's not a lot of money. When, I, when you get into people who are spending $50, $60 a week, or somebody who has almost no money, and they're taking money out of like rent, or like savings, or child's healthcare stuff, that's where it becomes an actual big problem. And you need to get help with like Gamblers Anonymous, that kind of stuff, or you get the point. So, okay, some kind of counseling, not a doctor, not giving medical advice, bye. But guys, here for like, you know, that's bye, Instagram ramble, bye. Mm -hmm.